So if you can believe it, it's actually year two of university. My term starts in about a month's time. I start on the 3rd of October, but I'm already moved in like ready for the term because I'm volunteering at the university to help with the freshers and I've got myself a job. Ironically, a steakhouse, even though I'm a vegetarian. So we're going to see how that one pans out. Hi, it's Hello. Maddie. <laughs> we're doing uni work and I'm editing. Uh, yeah, girl boss. Yeah. Uh, I filmed this video in September, or like the start of September. It's now nearly the end of October, so it's going really well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when I say I just moved in, I mean I just moved in in September, but I've been here forever. Yeah. I've never left. Too long. Too long. <laughs> it's Time getting old, long. especially with this. Thanks. This. This. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> so I've already moved in and all settled in pretty much and I'm going to be here for the majority of this month and until around Christmas time I guess. So now that I'm all settled in and everything's where I want it, whilst my other two housemates who are currently living here as well are out at work, I would do a little room tour. Uh, I hope you enjoy. If you want to watch my year one university room tour then feel free. I went to the University of York. I've been getting a few questions about this, I think, from freshers looking up. But if people want to know, uh, I'll link my year one university room tour up here. I was in Halifax College in Ainsty Court, which was an ensuite um, room. I think it was £159 a week, which was steep. Let me, t let me tell you, it was steep. Um, the kitchen was a hideous neon green, uh, but the room was really, really great. It was a single bed. Uh, the curtains were grey I was asked about the curtains and uh, feel free to like ask any question a few people already have about furniture and stuff but yeah if you want to see that links up here I'm still at the University of York and I'm living I'm not going to say where I'm living but I'm living in a house now <laughs> with uh, five other people it's a really nice house I think it was actually quite recently done out so not all uni houses are like this this is just quite a modern one because it's recently been refurbished I'm not going to give a whole house tour because I'm not the only one living here and I also don't want to give away too much where I'm living because uh, I am currently living here uh, but you'll probably see bits and pieces of the house in different videos depending on where I'm filming or we might just stay in my room the whole time that's what she said anyway also I'm trying out having a full fringe so be nice <laughs> the full fringe did not last <laughs> and I'm wearing Snoopy dungarees we good okay let's start the video uh, I'm going to do it in a similar style to the first one, but hopefully a little bit less rambly. Okay, let's go. So starting off the tour, we have the entryway. I got these command strip hooks that I've put up here to hang up. This I kind of use as a dressing gown. It's like a really comfy oversized cardi. My corduroy jacket and my other more durable corduroy jacket, which are like my go-to coats most of the time. This string of fairy lights I've hooked around the door. These are battery powered using command strip. I've just put them here and they turn on as so. They only have one setting, but they just kind of filled up that little corner. Another command strip hook is here for my backpack, which has all my tote bags in it. Um, and then on the handle of this boiler cupboard is my Polaroid cameras. Uh, I have the po uh no. I have the boiler cupboard in my room, as you can see. I'm using it to keep bed sheets. I have some bed sheets in the wash right now, but bed sheets and towels and stuff in here, and I also have the boiler. It is kind of noisy when people are in the shower, but I'm a deep sleeper, and I like I don't care. I'm unbothered, an unbothered queen. And it's also kind of nice having the extra little bit of storage, and hopefully my room will be the warmest in winter. Then to this side of the entryway is this Totoro poster that my dad got me. Uh, it's a little bit sun damaged, but I just thought it filled up that gap nicely. It kind of goes with the whole vibes of the room. And then over here I've got this plant. I killed my heather plant. So this is heather 2.0. I went in the plant shop and said, what's hard to kill? And he said, probably a cactus. So now I have a cactus, but it's a, it's a funky looking one. I think it's a eucalyptus. And then psych book, which was too big to put anywhere else. My little frog shrine. It says I love frogs on the spoon. And some flowers that I got on this coaster, as you can see. And then there's some blinds here, which is really nice. Keeps the sun out, obviously. Bin. 
These go on my bike. I need to put them in the garden shed, but it's a whole thing. And my laundry bag, which is really not that exciting at all. <laughs> okay, moving on, we're gonna go to the desk. Okay, welcome to my desk. As you can see, it's an Ikea desk. I think all the furniture is Ikea. Uh, with some shelves above it. So I'm gonna walk you through the desk first and then the shelves. I'll try and keep it brief. Here's the desk chair. Uh, I have a little throw pillow here. Um, I'm keeping my laptop and keyboard in here so the desk isn't always cluttered. In this drawer is my calendar because I can't hang that up and just some notebooks and paperwork stuff for note taking and everything. And in the cupboards below it, I've got Watches and hair products, uh, skincare products, uh, there's some nail varnishes behind this box. This is kind of like face masks and things like that. My period stuff in this little caddy. And then down here is all my kind of hobby creative things. I've got some watercolour paper, some scrapbooking materials. At the back I've got postcards for what I'm writing to my piano teacher. And... Uh, just it, bits and pieces for like my bike and a screwdriver, boring stuff like that uh, right at the very back. I've kind of tried to organise it based on usage. Then underneath the desk, this is a bit of a niche thing, but I went to Boys and I bought an extension lead to put like up here because the plugs in this room are kind of in an awkward spot. So I got an extension lead and it's one of the ones that you can individually turn on and off the different plugs on it. I think they're only like five pound each uh, and they help save energy and stuff by doing that and I'm less likely to start a house fire, which is always great. Uh, I've got this Rex mug that my friend Anna got me, which holds all my pens and pencils, as you can see. Some post-it notes, my decanter, picture of the Eiffel Tower in this little picture frame. Um, my friend Anya painted this for me and using command strip hooks, I've just stuck it on here. I thought it gives a little splash of colour. Anya also got me this little guy, he's called Forg. Uh, as you will see, there is a lot of frogs in this room. This is a little remote, as you can see. <laughs> um, and it powers, it controls these fairy lights as well as fairy lights over here. Ha ha, hoo hoo. Also my lamp. We've seen that be new. It's really pretty and it's got these little consolation things. Big fan, big fan. Uh, this one's Frederick. He sits under the lamp, keeps it guarded. The shelves, I try to maximize the space as much as possible whilst keeping it nice and pretty and scenic. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Picture of my family, uh, some spare change that I need to count. I recently published my first book. If you wanna buy it, link will be below. I'm forcing it down everyone's throat. It's a coming of age book set in Hull. It's about a group of friends in the last year of uh, sixth form college before they go to university. If you like Ladybird, Stand By Me, Little Women, it's kind of all in that same vein. It's very wholesome, but also like fun and exciting and it covers all sorts of topics. And there's some non-binary representation, not using that as like a token thing, but I just feel like it's not mentioned enough in stories. So if you want to watch a storyline of just a group of friends and one of them happens to be non-binary, which is very realistic, then feel free and the link will be below. Promo done. So my friend Sophie sent me this, thank you card, uh, congratulations card rather, so I put it up here. Some um, crystals that I forgot what they are, what they do, uh, on top of this frog, but I thought it doesn't hurt. Highlighters, never know when you need highlighters. This is Flora, another frog, I painted her. Um, these are my dad's old uh, dictionaries, and so they're kind of like a little family heirloom. In here, this used to be a jewelry box, but now I'm keeping it for cotton pads for the face here. My headband back there I always put on when I'm doing skincare. And then in here I'm keeping hair grips, hair ties, and tiny scrunchies. Uh, and I'm actually really loving how that's worked out. Up here I've got my brain, because I'm a psychology student, so everyone must know. Uh, I've just had this forever, so she just goes everywhere with me. My cousin Kai, when I was in Canada, this was the first car that he like pimped out and he let me paint it. And at first he wasn't gonna let me keep it, and then when I was coming home he let me keep it. So now it's on my shelf forever. Thank you, Kai. These are all my notebooks. I have a lot of notebooking things. So I've got a planner for the year, like a diary, my actual diary. Uh, these are just full of sticky notes and to-do lists. This is my book, um, book. So 
for any writing, any uh, stuff that I want to jot down in there that relates to any of the things that I've been writing. It's my book journal, so uh, I keep a log of whenever I read a book, I give it a little review. It's my poetry book, every poem I write goes in this one, and this one's just a daily to-do planner. It's quite amazing that I use all of them a lot. <laughs> These are some books up here. Most of the books are either my favourites, which is Song of Achilles and The Outsiders, but also some of the books are things that I'm going to read, uh, including these. This book I hated with a burning passion and now I use it to write little quotes on it and stick them on my wall. So, thanks Jeffrey. Uh, I hated your book. Sorry. But lots of people like it, so it's all good. Over here, uh, we've got a frog, as you can see. This one is uh, Freddy. Yeah, it's Freddy, this one. Uh, another little fake plant, and then some sewing stuff, because you never know when you need sewing stuff. Up here, my little nod to Marvel. I, use, I have more of these figurines at home, but right now I've only got Bucky here, who is my favourite character, and the little Captain America shield, because the Captain America movies are my favourite trilogy. Skincare in this one, hair stuff in this thing, stationery in this one, including washi tape and things like that. And then electronic things like chargers, hard drives, dull things like that. This fake plant that I got from Asda for like three quid that gives this like falling ivy effect. It was just the effect that I wanted. It felt kind of sparse on this side of the shelf. So now it's kind of got this nice falling effect. Every now and then I'd a bit switching these round, but so far I haven't done that yet. <laughs> uh, and that is my desk and shelves. Next, we'll move on to the windowsill very briefly. Okay, as you can see outside, it's a very sad rainy day, so hence why I have not left the house yet. Over here, we have this little dumpling light, who I don't currently have batteries in him. I just think he looks cute. Uh, a candle, which I don't... I don't know if I should include that in the video, but I'm very fire safe, don't worry. <laughs> These fairy lights that go around the back of all of this. This sign that someone made me ages ago, I don't even remember who, um, but I put it on a piece of ribbon and just hung it up here, so it was nice. This is my trinket dish, just keep things like my glasses, my headphones and stuff like that in here. Over here I've got my potted plant, fake, um, and then some snack jars. This one's empty because I ate all the snacks. This one's got some mini biscuits in from Tiger and this little guy is, what's his name? I can't remember what I called him actually. It's getting out of hand and I'm starting to forget what their names are. But my sibling got me him and he's really cute. So he just sits and guards the snacks. And again, another set of blinds. Also, I saw a pigeon walk along that roof and I also realized I can see into my neighbor's room through that window and they can see me at my desk. And I talk to myself a lot, um, and they can see me, I'm always stressed that they see me when I do it. So that's really great, I'm loving that. <laughs> uh, next I'm going to do this dresser and walk you through, like my vanity kind of. Hi, welcome to my vanity. Um, okay, so starting off pretty strong, we've got my makeup and my makeup palettes that were too big to fit in the makeup containers. My perfumes, this coaster, because sometimes I put a drink up here and just why not. Um, this is a Pickle Rick mug and he holds all my makeup brushes. Then I've got my jewellery box back here with a little lock on it. And then my flatmate Maisie, when she found out I was moving in officially, got me these flowers, which were so sweet. This is actually her, her vase and uh, little stones and stuff. They're kind of dying, but this one's going strong and they're very pretty and they kind of make it look very nice and sell very good. Got this from Tiger for like two quid because I broke my other mirror, so now I've got seven years bad luck, so happy about that. It's wooden, so it kind of matches the rest of like the woodsy, planty vibes. Set of drawers, as you can see. I've got socks and underwear and boring stuff like that in this one. T-shirts in this one and this jumper that I've just shoved in there for now. Uh, this is skirts and trousers and shorts and stuff and then sweaters and jumpers but that one's really full and it's hard to open and it's a whole thing. Whilst we're near the desk we'll also come to the wardrobe. There's a full length mirror on the wardrobe which I love. Uh, I've never really had a full length mirror before. I've only had three quarter length ones so 
Now I can see my full outfit and this is what I'm wearing today. My little Snoopy dungarees. It's very cozy. On the inside of this, it's quite a big wardrobe, which I'm very happy about. My dad got me this motivational purse when I moved in uh, and I put it on the inside of this door. So every time I get dressed, I can just feel a little bit stressed out. Shoes in this big box. The shoes that I wear most often are at the front or on top of the box and then my go-go -go boots. These are some more trousers and jeans all hung up. Then it's in colour order, because of course it is, because it's me. Um, and then up here I've got my projector, my backpack, this sort of like first aid health kit, some PlayStation 2 games because I'm retro and I'm really cool and I'm better than you. And this has just got bags and caps and an umbrella and stuff in there. Also, somewhere further back there, there's a picnic blanket and some disposable whiteboards, just like random crap, <laughs> uh, which I'll probably find myself wanting at some point whilst I'm here. On top of the wardrobe up there, that is Felicity, uh, my new frog. She's the newest addition to the family. Welcome, Felicity. And my really fluffy, massive winter coat that takes up way too much space in my wardrobe, so I just shoved it right back there. And you can't see it most of the time, so I'm happy. The last stop is the bed. Wink nudge. Okay, yeah. It's like a sunset. It's like a sunrise. It's like a universe. Okay, as you can see, I have two pin boards in this room. Uh, so this far one I've just used to hang up this massive plant tapestry that just gives the room a pop of colour. It's like a nice thing to look at and I love it. And then also I hung fairy lights all the way across, so they got this little dip effect. And then they spread onto my collage, which is on the other pin board. This is my central pet poster. I love friends, in case you didn't know. And over the last year, I've just been building up this collage around it with pictures and quotes and little trinkety things that remind me of trips out. And then my dad got me this sign because we say this all the time to each other, so it's like our little thing. So that's my whole Central Park board. That's my whole tapestry board. Next is where the magic happens. The floor, no, I'm joking. Um, around my bed, I put these flowers up here. I still need to think of a good way to secure them though because every now and then they fall on me in the night, um, which terrifies the shit out of me. But I've put these little white roses around the headboard because I just thought they'd make it look really delicate and pretty. I've got three pillows, one of which I fell into the trap of TikTok being like silk pillows are really good for your skin, really good for your hair. My skin's been playing up a lot as you can see around here, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. And it is, it's really good. It's comfy even if it doesn't do anything, so no hand on. Then we've got Fredo and Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad is typically everyone's favourite. He's been to Paris, he's been to Canada, he's an international frog. He has also now been to Gibraltar. So Feliz Navidad is even more international and there is a Gibraltar vlog coming eventually when I get time to edit it. So yeah, teaser. Uh, and he was already Spanish to begin with, like, um, just some throw blankets. These are the same from year one. Uh, I think it's actually a three quarter or a small double uh, because my duvet is massive on it, which I love. Uh, and my mattress sheet fits a little bit too baggy on it. Which I don't really care about anything as a step up from a single bed. So I love having it. I like, I've starfished so many times and it's so nice. It's so nice. Over here, I've got this towel dryer. No one cares. Oh, uh, Sleepy Bear's also in the corner. He's my childhood teddy bear. Around this side. Okay, first of all, I've got a plate and a thing down here because I, it was ruining the aesthetic and I couldn't be bothered to take it downstairs. So I just shoved it down there. So anyone, just like, let's move past that. Um, over here I've got my, she who must not be named, Echo Dot. She doubles as a alarm clock and she also tells you the time and a speaker and everything. I mean, everyone knows what an Echo Dot is so I don't know why I'm trying to sell it to you. This is the cup part of the decanter that's over there. Uh, I just thought I'd fill in this gap. Another remote control for the fairy lights, which again controls both sets of fairy lights. So from bed I can turn them on and off. This is Frankie, he's a light, but I forgot to put batteries in him. Uh, but I often use him like for reading in bed and stuff like that. Hand cream of my favorite scent, a little thingy of Vaseline. And then I got this side table from, there's a shop in York called Futon. I think this was 30 pounds and it just fitted the little gap here perfectly because I just didn't want to shove everything on the floor. 
It also opens up as you can see, uh, but you have to take everything off it to open it. Usually I keep like headphones and my book and stuff like that in there, really boring things. And then down here I've got a box of tissues which would take up like the entire thing, so I just put them down there. I do think I'm starting to come down with a cold, which is stressing me out a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm glad that I've bought that in preparation. And I'm also gonna have to stock up for when Freshers flu hits because the shelves will go barren of cold medicine. It happened last time and it will happen again. So I'm gonna stock up on strep silt and stuff like that, just in case I catch freshies flu. I'm actually so terrified that I will. <laughs> I never did. And I also didn't get a cold. And I still haven't touched wood. So, so far so good. Um, but yeah, this is my bed. It's very comfy. Uh, these are one set bed sheets I have, which have got like a weird crinkle effect, which is kind of nice because then you can't tell that they're all creased. Um, and you get a full view of the room from my bed and everything like that. Also, if I put my projector up here, I can project things onto this wall to watch stuff in bed if I so wish. Which is very cosy and very nice. I do also have a main light and a fire alarm, just in case. Um, but I never really turn on the main light because I'm more of a low lighting kind of gal. This is not a good angle. It's not a good angle. So, that was the room tour. I will now film the outro. <laughs> so weird, whilst I've been uploading a lot of videos lately from Canada, by the way, there is a few parts left of that series, which I've probably already uploaded because they're already edited and stuff. I have, and they're uploaded, and they're in the playlist of travel videos if you want to watch them all back to back. There's also videos of me in Paris, and in Spain, I want to say, and eventually, Gibraltar, that is still coming. So yeah, go watch them. I'm so tired. I digress. Yeah, I haven't actually filmed a video in a long time. This is the first time I'm filming a video for... Over a month, actually. I didn't film at all in August, um, and it is now September. Uh, and especially a video like this. So I feel kind of, I always get a little bit out of practice on how to talk to a camera, and then I settle back into it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this room tour. Uh, thanks for watching. I don't know why you did, in all honesty, but I do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay hydrated, try not to get fresh as flu, and goodbye. <laughs> Sunshine on my face Let's play with it all day At a fun time